أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين سيدنا وحبيبنا ونبينا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه وأزواجه ومن تبعهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين أما بعد وخلق الإنسان ضعيفة Human beings are created very weak The topic could be very very long As this statement, if you take it in today's educational system, it just goes totally against just the opposite direction of what the whole educational system is all about. Why? Because our system today is telling us that when you teach children, make them feel confident of themselves. That I'm very confident I can do this, I can do this, I can do this. And of course, we know that is important. If you tell a child you can't do it, you're really destroying that child's abilities which happens a lot in our system for some reason. That when someone doesn't learn something, doesn't study properly, you tell the child that you can't learn. It's just out of anger, but you destroyed that child's moral support that he was hoping to get from a teacher. In fact, now the child may start feeling that I really can't do it, although he has the ability, but you said it out of anger, and now you destroyed this child's life. As parents, as teachers, we should always avoid these type of statements that you can do nothing. You will never succeed. You can never learn. This is something that we need to always avoid it. In fact, many of us regardless of our age, may be of the same belief about many things that we are able to do, but we think we can do it. How do you know? So many people told me that I can't do it. People who told you, did they really measure your brain to tell you that you can't do it? Are they specialists in this field? They just said it. Why? Because you tried this, you tried this, you tried this, and you couldn't do it. So now, all of a sudden, someone says, no, you can't do it. And that's it. You took it as a belief in your life, I can do it. We see a lot of people, especially in the field of hifz, a point comes when someone tells them, you can't do it, and then the child starts feeling, no, I can never memorize Quran. And in fact, same goes for adults. We took it that way for ourselves. For those of us who are not Hafaz, and we only know a few surahs. Now, a thought may come, let me memorize Surah Yasin. Oh, but it's too long. I can't do it. How about some other surahs? Surah Kahf, that's even longer. I can't do it. What told you that you cannot do it? Of course, to counter this, the educational system came up with the method of making children self-confident. But you know what happens now is when a person gets overconfident and he starts feeling about everything, I can do everything. And now that is not limited to doing things within abilities within limits, within boundaries. He wants to do anything and everything. And where does this child is going to use his abilities? 
he will start robbing people. Who said I can't do it? Overconfidence. Who said I can't do it? I can do it. And now he starts using these abilities in a wrong direction. Way to balance. How to balance. As I said, it's a very long topic. But we have to understand one thing here. There are a lot of things that when we experience them in our lives, with our souls, with our children, with our neighbors, with our colleagues, with people in the world in general, we encounter problems dealing with certain situations. So now in order for us to counter that, normally we go to the other direction. And we try to just jump totally on the other side of the fence. This is how our whole system in the world is at this time. See the values of the property. I'll just give a simple example. Values of the properties. A value, forget about a building. A land. What's the price of a land? Sometimes you see a small piece of land and they may be asking a million dollars for it. What made that price, who set that price, million dollars? Sometime we jack up the price in order to protect certain things. We want wealthy people to come here, keep the poor people out of this. So now, million dollars just for our land, no one is going to afford it, and except a certain group of people will afford it. Accordingly, you get your taxes, so you charge the taxes based on a million dollar, so you make your profit. This, a big boom in the prices all over, all over the country, and not just I'm talking, I'm not talking about this country, generally. Where does that come from? As many times you may hear the word from the economist, they say these are bubbles. And the day it will blow up, everything is going to fall apart. And it happened in many countries. People invested in some of the countries that were really making a lot. All of a sudden when it blew up, they realized that they were sitting on a balloon. The world got used to sitting on these fake things in our time. This is the reality of our life today. The world has got used to sitting on fake things in our time. We hear certain prices for some buildings, things like this. Those are some prices that for me and you, for people sitting over here, we never even heard those numbers in our life. And then we may repeat the numbers, but we have never seen that amount of money. We don't even know how much space it would need to put that much money. And people who are buying it for that amount of money, they have never seen that amount of money. It's all about some numbers transfer from your account into some other account. It goes from, a num from number to number, number to number. You paid this person, this person got $10 million, $1 billion. He never sees a billion dollar. You never saw your billion dollar. It just went from this account to that account and then from here to there. So it just numbers keep on transferring from here and there. You are using just a small card in your hand. So the whole world, the system is being built on this today that we are, in order to make up for what we are missing, in simple words, in order to make up for what we are missing, we try to bring some balloon and blow it up and then make it look like this is something big here. Whereas we all know people who put it there and people who are sitting there, they all know that this is all fake and it could just go at any time within seconds. All of our assets. You know, it's just a matter of seconds. They can go in seconds. How many dollars do you have in your pocket? How many do we have in our home? 
Just imagine the day that you hear that the bank was bankrupt. And you hear the word sorry. A big sorry from everyone. And you knock every door and they say, you know, sorry. What are you going to do? That's it. It's gone. These are of course, to fill the gap of the thing that we are missing. There is a lot of gap in our life. And people are missing things. Islam, this is the beauty. This is where Islam will come in picture now. Subhanallah. Amazingly, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us that there is realities there. If you don't hold on to this haq, this reality, normally we look at it as just Salah, zakah, or some ibadat. When Allah says, وَقُلْ جَاءَ الْحَقُّ وَزَهَقَ الْبَاطِلِ The haq came and the falsehood vanished and went away. And بَلْ نَقْذِفُ بِالْحَقِّ عَلَى الْبَاطِلِ فَيَدْمَغُهُ We throw the haq, naqdhif, qadhafa is through to throw. We throw the truth on falsehood. فَيَدْمَغُهُ It damages the brain of the falsehood. دِمَغْ فَيَدْمَغُهُ It destroys the brain of the falsehood. فَيَدْمَغُهُ فَيَدْمَغُهُ It destroys the brain of the falsehood. فَيَدْمَغُهُ It destroys the brain is bound to go away. This is the fact of the whole life. It's not just some ibadat. Now, come back so that we don't go into too much too far now. This was just so that we can understand the system and what the ayah is telling us. Now, we said there is a problem. If you keep on telling everyone, imagine you take this word, وَخُلِقَ الْإِنسَانُ ضَعِيفَ and you tell your students, خُلِقَ الْإِنسَانُ ضَعِيفَ You are very weak. You can't do nothing. So people have problem now with the system that we are introducing, you are telling everyone that you can't do nothing. So just sit home, don't do anything, because you can't do nothing, you are very weak. Let Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala do everything for you. Well, if He would do it, that is what tawakkul means. And a lot of people take that meaning of tawakkul, that you know tawakkul means don't do anything, keep your trust in Allah, and you just keep on doing your ibadah, and then Allah will take care of everything else. Of course, that's something different, but in reality, this is not what tawakkul means. This is ta'attul. Ta'attul means not doing anything. The true tawakkul that Allah taught us, that Prophet ﷺ taught us, is you do your best. You do your best. And then, trust Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the results. This is very important. You do your best, and trust Allah for the result. This is where exactly now, Islam is putting both systems together. You tell the person, you can do it. Do your best. And he tried, and he tried, and he tried, and he couldn't do it. Now, if we go by the system that we have, this person at some point in his life will realize or will think that what they told me was wrong. They told me I can do it, but I can't do it. I did everything I could, and still I couldn't achieve it. I worked so hard, I couldn't get it. You know, we, have, we find this problem. Allah points out this problem in Quran, in Bani Israel. When they said, يَدُ اللَّهِ مَغْلُولَ وَقَالَتِ الْيَهُودُ يَدُ اللَّهِ مَغْلُولَ We worked hard. We did everything we could. Allah is not giving. His hands are closed. So, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling us, وَخُلِقَ الْإِنسَانُ ضَعِيفَ What is it that He's telling us? He's telling us you need to understand your reality. You are weak. But, now, take an example here. Before we go further, to understand what Allah is telling us. You see a person standing by the roadside. And he, is, he would like to cross the road. There are a lot of cars going by. So now, it's dangerous for this person to cross the road. Now the person is blind. So you tell him, you know, don't cross the road, it's so difficult. Of course, he's stuck. If you tell him, go ahead, you know, you can do it. This is what the system is telling us. 